We're here on the historic campus of Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. This is probably the largest single building in the world devoted entirely to athletics, but tonight the focus is entirely and squarely on school boy basketball, specifically CIAC Class B final round championship game, the first ever. We've got a dream matchup here. The defending champion East Haven Yellow Jackets against the Blue Wavers of Darien, the top-rated team coming into this tournament. I'm going to turn the microphone over to my cohort, Rich Levis, now for a thumbnail description of both clubs. Take it away, Rich. Thank you very much, Rick. And indeed, a very enthusiastic crowd this evening to see first-ranked Darien and the third-ranked Yellow Jackets of East Haven. John Marr is the coach, of course, of Darien. They bring a 17-4 record into tonight's ball game, while the Yellow Jackets are coached by Frank Crisafi. And Coach Crisafi uh, is a, actually a protege of John Marr, having coached for uh, Coach Marr a while back. So that in itself should be an interesting matchup. Uh, these two teams, as uh, Rick mentioned, uh, prime for tonight's ball game. It should be a great one. And, Rick, uh, the keys to victory, I think, tonight for Darien would be uh, their fine outside uh, guard, Bob Saverine, who actually shoots well from the outside, has 67 points coming into tonight's ball game, And, of course, their fine 6'4 senior center, Mike Towsey. Thank you, Rich. Now, what do you see the keys, uh, the key players uh, shaping up for East Haven, the defending champions? I know they've got a great guard in John Greco. Uh, who else do you think will uh, they will look for to carry the scoring load to help John Greco out tonight? They are a guard-oriented team, Rick, along with Greco. They feature number nine uh, guard, Bob Vitrone, and uh, one of their uh, prime uh, rebounders up front. Uh, you can look for Bill Barker, number three, and their center, number 14, Earl Corn Giebel. It should be a great matchup. Darien ranked number one against East Haven, the third-ranked team in the state. And, uh, Rick, turn it back to you before we get our starting lineups for tonight's game. Thank you, Rich, and I uh, understand from our technical department downstairs in the truck that we are having some video difficulties, although I understand the audio portion is coming through loud and clear. Uh, we hope we can get these uh, minor difficulties cleared up in time for the tip-off. And we'll continue to uh, give you some uh, highlights here as this electric crowd of 2600 uh, is on its feet waiting for the tip-off. We're currently watching the pretty blue wave cheerleaders uh, going through one of their precision routines. And I understand we couldn't be more than about 60 seconds away from the tip-off. Well, one of the interesting things, Rick, will be how both these teams perform in Payne Whitney this evening. Uh, as we mentioned, there'll be well over 2,000 people and throughout the year, both high schools played in relatively smaller uh, facilities, and it'll be interesting to see whether the excitement of this big crowd will have any effect on these youngsters. Right you are, Rich. You know, we aren't talking about professional athletes here. We're talking about sophomores, juniors, and seniors, you know, 16 to 18 years old, and playing in here in one of the uh, most famous uh, sporting uh, facilities not only in the country but I believe in the world in fact uh, has to have an effect on them here when the, the stands are literally filled uh, standing room only I imagine these kids have to be a little tight I know they're, they're a well schooled group on both clubs but uh, certainly playing here has to give them a few butterflies I know I've got a few that's right, Rick. Well, they're both well-coached teams, and of course, Darien, to get into this final game, uh, defeated a very tough Abbott Tech team to begin the tournament and follow that up with victories over Woodrow Wilson and Newington. So they're tournament tough, and I think they're ready for tonight's ball game. I think you're so right, Rich, and I think it's, it's worth noting that that Abbott, Abbott Tech club had defeated Darien twice during the regular season. However, once they got into the tournament, they really blew them out of the gym the other night. So I think this Darien club uh, has to be considered the favorite going in, although they are going in against the defending champions, and I think anything can happen. Well, that's right, Rick, and I think we're just about ready for tonight's starting lineup. I certainly hope so, and I'm going to switch us down now to the famous, uh, the renowned uh, veteran floor announcer down here at Payne Whitney, 
Andrew Buck Cusack. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Payne Whitney Gymnasium. I'd like to introduce the starting team. From the Darian Blue Wave, at forward, number 22, Randy Frazier, number 22. At the other forward, number 10, Art Lupinacci. At center, number 21, Mike Cousy. And at guard, number 14, Jerry Atkins. And at the other guard, number four, Bob Savarine. From the East Haven Yellow Jacket. At forward, number three, Bill Barker. At the other forward, number six, Bill Pike. At center, number 14, Earl Cron Gable. And at the guards, number eight, John Grieco. And number nine, Bob Vitrone. Okay, Rich, we're back up in the booth now. We're just seconds away from the tip-off. Oh, you can really feel the electricity in this big arena, can't you? There's a big crowd out there, Rick, and uh, as you mentioned, there's just electricity in the air for tonight's championship game. Okay, we're watching those very pretty and precision Darian cheerleaders finish the famous locomotive cheer here. And they're just about done with that, and the crowd really is at a fever pitch as we begin this ball game with the opening tip-off, which is controlled by the Yellow Jackets of East Haven. This is a patient and disciplined club here, Rich. Man-to-man -man defense by Coach John Mars Blue Wave. Okay, that's a trademark of this team. The first shot is up and no good. It's showing the nervousness, I think, of both teams. That shot didn't even get any glass, didn't get any, no iron. And Darian's back with the ball now. Savarine on the wing, back to Atkins, back to Savarine. Now they're trying to get the ball into the big man, Towsie. He takes that first shot, but it's a little short. He, too, seems to be a little nervous, a little tight. Rich, what do you think? All the boys are going to be a little bit tight. You can expect that at the beginning of the ball game, Rick. Okay. But East Haven, a well-coached club, moving into their pattern offense against the Darien man-to-man -man defense. Playing it tough, Darien is, and giving uh, very difficult shots for Yellow Jacket. Oh, and a nice shot from the corner by Barker for the first two points of the game. Darien trying to come back now. Lupinacci on the wing, back at the action. Nothing doing on that wing. They're going to go to the other side to Savarine. He looks for a shot. Fakes a shot. Yes. A little surprise, Rick, because the Yellow Jackets, tough man-to-man -to -man team throughout, playing the zone tonight. That's right, and they gave Savarine that open jumper. Oh, they come right back with a one-handed push shot by Patron to make it 4-2. But right back before I could even uh, catch my breath, Mike Towsie comes back to tie it up with a jumper from the key for Darianne. It's a 4-4 ball game. Okay, another one-headed pop from the side. Yes. Bob Vitrone again, Rick. Okay, Vitrone making it 6-4 for East Haven. Okay, the Darien team seems to be settling down now, though, Rick. They know the job they have to do here tonight, and it's a big one. They're playing the defending champion virtually in their own backyards here up in New Haven. They got the ball into the big man, Towsie, but he gets it back out to Lupinacci. Lupinacci to Atkins. Atkins shoot. won't shoot much, but there's Savarine with a jumper. Yes! And that's what Jerry is going to have to do to break that zone. Shoot well from the outside. And they have so far Savarine with two long jumpers. And he just tied the score at 6-6. Six, six. Darian with a ball on a violation now. Looking to take the lead. Savarine fakes the corner jump. Gets it back out to Atkins. Atkins has it into Tazi. Back to Savarine. He holds the ball up. Gets it over to the other wing to Lupinacci. He holds it up into the corner. Side jump, no good. Rebound to East Haven, and they come right up. But the Darien defense is back as usual. We haven't seen any fast break baskets so far, Rich. These are pretty two well schooled defensive clubs. Yes! A long jumper. Mr. Greco again. He's going to be the man to stop for Darien if they expect to win this game. He's had a great tournament so far. 
And he's saving with a 8-6 lead. Atkins gets the ball into the corner. Savarine, nothing doing. Atkins looking inside. Back to Savarine on the wing. Fraser moving back and forth. The, uh, the key there, but can't get open. There's a fake, a shot. Yes, it's up by Lupina. Oh, rolled off. That looks good going up. East Haven giving Darien only one shot. That's right, Rich. They seem to be controlling the defensive backboard, and Darien's either going to have to hit that outside shot or crash the board harder if they're going to stay in this game. Oh, we have a turnover violation, and here comes Darien the other way. Well, those turnovers really can hurt you. That's right. It's unusual for uh, the East Haven club to turn the ball over too many times in a game. Savarine on the right wing. Gets it back out to the point man, Atkins. Atkins gets it into the big fellow. Towsy on a drive. No. Good penetration by Towsy, however. Towsy with a jumper. Yes. Big Mike Towsy. He's been a key man so far for Darian. I think he may be the key man tonight, both scoring and rebounding wise. This Darian club has a lot of role players, and Big Mike's role is to grab that ball off the backboard and put the ball up and score a lot of points. Well, there's no doubt about it. Savarine and Towsy are going to have to be big men tonight. Darian will be victorious. Steal by the Rich, and he's got a ball up to Savarine. He may go all the way. Yes, he does. Lost handed. Shot off the glass, and Darian has the lead for the first time, 10-9. There's a one-handed push off the glass, no good. White shirts all around, and yes, Darian has the ball. They bring it up. And, all right, Savarine wisely holding the ball up. He's looking for some help. He's got it on the wing. Back to Atkins on the point. Swing it over to the other side to Lupinacci. Lupinacci doesn't even look for a shot. He got it into Tazzy. Oh, a beautiful feed into Fraser, but the ball is off the glass. No good. Off the back line, it looks like it's going to be their end ball. It is. They stand up again. And the Towsy. Back into the big man. Well, we have a call here. <laughs> Going the other way to the Yellow Jackets of East Haven. There's a long two-hander off the, off the rim. Boy, and Mike Towsy once again. He's been a, a tower of strength off the board so far tonight, Rick. Yes, he has, Rich. Yes, he has. This talented senior, Colgate Bound, is really giving a fine account of himself out there tonight. East Haven, however, back on the other side, blocked by Towsy. Some vicious contact under the... And it will be Darian Ball. Shot from the corner by Fraser is good. Randy Frazier, again. Uh, That's the captain. That's the fellow from Indiana who got this group really interested in basketball a couple of seasons ago. And obviously the results are showing up tonight, Rich. He's added stability to the club all year long. They're here in the championship game. Okay, he's saving with the ball, but they can't seem to put it down. Darian seems to be controlling both backboards now, Rich. Doing a fine job off the boards and is uh, helping them thus far, uh, certainly. They've got a short lead, but they are controlling the ball. Working around is a long one from the corner. No good by Towsy. That was uh, Tim Towsy, brother of Mike. And we've got a 13-10 first quarter, first quarter lead by Darian. They control the second half tip. Oh, a steal, a steal of a jump pass. Here comes Go on, Deke. Go on, Deke. Go on, Deke. Ah. Oh, rebound is up. It on, looks like uh, Towsy once again. Towsy continuing to do a great job off the boards tonight. Rich, that man is everywhere tonight. I, I can't believe the game he's playing so far. He really is possessed out there. I think he wants to go out a winner. He wants to go out and find style. We have a steal in the front court by East Haven. Darien turning it over several times untypically. A one-handed push in and out. Oh, man underneath. No good. And controlled by Darien. That's Atkins. He'll slow it up. He doesn't score much, but he's a savvy front court player. He's the man you want to look to for stability. He's the floor general out there. He'll try to set up uh, the Darien offense. Okay, we've got Severin on the left wing, Lupinacci on the right. They swing the ball around against the zone. Passing carefully, not wanting to make any mistakes. They've turned the ball over a few times now, recently down the floor. Savereen, yes, he's got a jumper. A little short. The ball is up, and it's rebounded by East Haven. Darien doing a good job working the ball around, just couldn't uh, get the ball to go down. 
That's right, Red. Go, 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 Speaking of which, here comes Darian back on defense as East Haven grabs another rebound. Off the glass. Rebound again by Big Mike Towsie. Low percentage shot by uh, Corn Giebel, a turnaround jumper. And here comes Savarine the other way again. A little short, but Towsie with a rebound, fighting for it in the corner. He's got it back to Savarine. No, hits virtually nothing. And we got a jump ball. Controlled by East Haven, and down they come. Come on, baby, go, go, baby, go, go, baby, go, baby, go, go, man, love you, baby, go, go, man. It's a tenacious man-to-man, -man, though, Rich. They, uh, they collapse on the ball handle. Timeout appears as uh, Coach uh, Frank uh, Christoffi trying to get his troops together and uh, get East Haven back in this game. But they're only down by a few, and it's early in the first, second quarter, rather. Yeah, you're so right, Rich, and uh, you can't, can, can never count a uh, Frank Rosafi team out of any game, especially not when they're the defending champs. It's so true, Rick. They've been through it all this year, and they're really ready tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Has a one-handed push by Greco. Yes, it's good. And they pull a little bit closer. Darian clinging to a, a slim lead here as they move the ball around the front court. They have it into Tazi, though. He goes in. Yes. Big Mike. <laughs> Taking it all the way home on a pretty drive from the key. All right. Good give and go, but uh, Yellow Jackets couldn't find the hoop. Let's go over there. So the Yellow Jackets shooting percentage is very low. I'm sure that's a disappointment to their coach because they have been working the ball and getting the open shot. Simply on, unable baby, to connect. Come on, come on, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Our ball almost lost by Darian there, but they control it. Atkins with a long one, yes. Jerry Atkins, a long shot. Jerry Atkins, who does not shoot much, but when he does, he's accurate. There's another long one from the other way by Greco of East Haven, and he brings them back. They're still very much in this ball game, although Darian is clinging to a slight lead at this time. Two teams on a seesaw back and forth at this point. Well, this crowd is just in a frenzy at the moment, Rich. Darian looking for its first ever championship. East Haven looking to repeat. There's a hook by Tauzi. Oh! That may be the shot of the game. That may be the shot of the game. Come on, Let's get up. Get up, Darian. Oh, the page or the, uh, the book of George Mikan on that hook shot. Boy, that was pretty. It was just the way it's diagrammed. Oh, a jump pass. Oh, oh, no good. Oh, come on, team. Oh, oh. oh and a long oh, jumper from the corner is Fire good table. by Bob Vitrone. <laughs> and Darian working the ball with Savarine again. Yes! Oh, this game is a guard-dominated guard oh, oh, game between Bob Savarine and Greco and Vitrone of East Haven. Ah, You're so right. What are you doing? Ah, is the long one-handed push oh, shot is good. Oh, oh my. Ah, 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 there ah, bringing the ball back the other way now. Atkins ah, holding it up, looking for the open man. Yellow Jack is still in that 1-2-2 one, two, two, or 1-3-1 one, one defense. He's got it over to Severin on the wing, looking for Tazi. Tazi brings it back out to Atkins. Atkins on the point. He's got Tazi at the uh, foul line. Yes. Yeah. Darian moving the ball again quite well and uh, ending up in those two points. Okay, Darian with the ball again. Bobby Savarine bringing it over to the corner. Back out to the point. Savarine in the wing. He's going to take the jumper. No good. But saved. Saved by Lou Panacci. Lupinacci out to Atkins. Atkins back to Savarine. Savarine to Atkins. Savarine into Tazi. I'm going to give and go to Savarine. Yes. Oh, a couple of left hand and good. Beautiful give and go. Darian working it to perfection. It's a textbook give and go play, Rich. Back the other way. Oh, Corn Grable with a bucket. He wasn't boxed out by Tazi. That's about the first mistake I've seen the big guy make tonight. He's played a great game otherwise, Rick. That's for sure. 
Darian coming back the other way. Savarino on the wing. Back to Atkins on the point. Into the post to Tazi. The long one-hander by Savarino is in and out. They're battling for the ball. The ball is controlled by East Haven. Okay. East Haven back to the ball. Now Greco looking for an opening. Greco with a one-handed push is good. Savarine with a one handed push. Yes. Okay, we have a halftime score 27 23. Well, we're here at Ralph Time at Pain. We've got a little bone burner going between the top ranked Darian Blue Wayward and defending Trevor East Haven. Yellow Jackets. The final. The score at halftime is 27-23. And uh, for one, uh, very impressed by the quality of ball we've seen thus far. Uh, I apologize again. I understand we're having some further video difficulties, but uh, I'm sure we'll have those cleared up in time for a resumption of play in the second half. Well, uh, Right now, we're going to turn the microphone over to Sarah Severin, our sponsor from the Heights Restaurant, one of the greatest supporters in the state of CIAC schoolboy sports. Uh, take it away, Sam. Uh, thank you very much, Rick. I am Sam Severin. I really appreciate being a sponsor of this basketball game, not just because... A wonderful person who happens to be involved in it, but the fact that I sell probably the best hamburgers that everybody does. And as you know, I'm in the Heights Road adjacent to the road avenue that I have restaurant that anybody can come into. And I'm a people's restaurant, and I really love that idea. So thank you very much for asking me over here, and I'll turn it back to you at this juncture. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Sam, and I understand that you recently had the uh, pool table recovered. I know all of your patrons appreciate that. Okay, uh, I'm going to turn the microphone over to my colleague Rich Lattis now for the second half stats, which I think will uh, point out just how close a contest we have here. Well, thank you, Rick, and the statistics really bear out this exciting first half. Darianne High School for the Blue Wave, interestingly enough, uh, the two uh, top stars uh, throughout the year. Dominated play by Tallazzi and Bob Savarin. Let's take it from the top. Randy Frazier and Art Lipinacci. The forwards did not score, but they played a very steady first half. And moving right along, Mike Tallazzi contributed six first half baskets and one from for three from the foul line for 13 points. Bob Savarin had six buckets from the field for 12 points. And Jerry Rodkins contributed a basket for two points, giving the Gary M. Blue Wave two twenty-seven points. And of course, Towsy and Saverine contributed twenty-five of the twenty-seven points. Tim August and Tim Towsy did play in the first half, but did not score. For the Yellow Jackets at East Haven. The front line of Bill Barker and Bill Fight did not score. However, their center, Earl Corngeeble, scored a bucket and one for two from the foul line for three points. And again in the backcourt, that that's what told the story for East Haven. John Greco and Bobby Vitrone. Greco had followed baskets and one for three from the foul line for 11 points. Bobby Vitron, three buckets for six. They had 17 of the first half, 23 yellow jacket points. Bill Porto came off the bench to score a basket. Flash shot for three. Vinny Vogalto did not score. 
So there you have it. After one half of play, the Darien Blue Wave 27, the East Haven Yellow Jackets 23. Just as they wrote it uh, in the script, wreck a real close game. Uh, to a one off of play at the end of the first period, it was tw- uh, 13 to 10, again in favor of Darien. And East Haven did not move any closer to three points. Uh, they're getting close to the Blue Wave in the first half. Keys for victory very quickly for Darien. Uh, they're going to have to rely, of course, on Bobby Severine to continue to shark shoot from the outside. However, they have been moving the ball quite well. Wow. Uh, as uh, exemplified by Mike Tull as he's 13 points in the first half. For East Haven, Rick, uh, once again, that front line did not score Barker and fight as well. In fact, they had three points uh, from the whole front line with the uh, core people getting those three, so they're going to have to get more production out of that front line to get uh, back into the ball game in the second half. Right, you are, Rich, and the question will be, in the second half, Darian has a small lead, but, of course, the East Haven has been better than defending troops. Many of the ball players were here last year. It's a question of whether the big crowd and the pressure will get to Darian or whether this world is within club will be able to stand up to the pressure and hold off what we expect a late game charge from the Yellow Jackets. Okay, we're just about ready for the trip off, and I understand we have our video problems just about cleared up. Yes, we do, and I'm happy to take it away for the third period tip off. The ball is loose on the side. And it will be Darien Ball. Atkins with the ball. He's got it on the wing over to Lupinacci. Driving the baseline is Towsy up and in. Mike Towsy starting off where he left off in the first half. Rich with another bucket. The big man has been so impressive, both inside and outside, all over. Coming back the other way, the Yellow Jackets put it up. They could not connect. Interesting to see if the momentum will shift uh, from the Blue Wave to the Yellow Jackets uh, in the second half. Okay, the Blue Wave with a six-point lead now. It's an important bucket for the Yellow Jackets. Yes, from the corner. They got right back into it, Rick. Big bucket. Big bucket indeed, Rich. Savarine with one of his own. No, up, no good. Tap up. Tap up by Towsie is good. Towsie, Mike, once again, Johnny on the spot with that tip-in. He seems to be a man possessed out there today, Rich. He wants this game very badly. He's playing, I think, the game of his life. Back out to Greco for a one-handed push. He brings his club back within four points. Darian spread out now against the zone, moving the ball nicely against the zone, passing it back and forth, looking for the open man. Coach Mars' squad, very deliberate out there. Bobby Savarine moving it over to Atkins. Atkins faked the shot, got it into Lupinacci. Back to Atkins, over to Savarine. But that zone is everywhere. It's on the present. They don't seem to have an opening at the moment. There's a swing pass over to Lupinacci, over to Atkins. He puts it up. It's off the glass. It's no good. The rebound up. Grabbed by Fraser. He gets it back over to Lupinacci. We have a foul. Darian still controlling the ball. They move the ball around again. Swinging it around, around the outside of that zone. Tazzy looking for an opening inside. He doesn't have one. Back to Savarine in the corner. The ball goes up. It's off the glass. Tazzy fighting for it. Fraser fighting for it. Fraser up and good. Mike Tazzy again off the board strongly. I think that might have been Fraser, Rich, but whoever it was, it was a nice effort. The Yellow Jackets now need a bucket. They need a bucket badly to stay in this one as the crowd is clearly in favor of Darien. They're on their feet. The shot is up off the glass. The Yellow Jackets battle for the rebound. Yes, they have another shot. However, it's Towsy clearing the boards again for the blue wave, and down they come. And the Yellow Jackets continue to have a very low percentage uh, from the outside. Well, you can hear the crowd. They're really in this game, Rich. 2,500 strong, Rick, and they're letting the players know it. Oh, you're so right. Savarine, who's played a masterful game at the point guard, is just quarterbacking this club now. He's into the wing now, looking for the shot, looking for Tazi, but he gets it back out. Nothing doing. 
Atkins on the wing. Back into Atkins with a hook. Oh! He had the open shot but couldn't connect. Earl Korngiebel uh, controlling the board thus far in the second half. You have to give this East Haven squad a lot of credit. They've been down almost the whole game, but they've hung in tough. And they're still in this game. It's not over by a long shot. There's a drive down the middle. Oh, my goodness, that's another rebound for Towsie. <laughs> he has been everywhere tonight. Atkins bringing the ball up as usual. Savarin down the middle with a pop, a shot. Yes! He got the friendly bounce from the rim. He put a nice soft jumper up there, caught the front of the rim, and in it went. And Darian now with a steal. Uh, back line, back line, I'm sorry. He's saving control. Now the push shot by Greco off. Oh, he's off the iron. That's the shot he was hitting in the first pass. He hasn't been able to connect thus far in the second. And he's saving now. He's calling for the behind. Oh, up. We have a call. And Darian will control the ball with Severin bringing it up slowly, setting up the offense. Darian once again trying to work that ball around for a good shot. Oh, they're looking good now, Rich. They are looking very, very skilled, very, very disciplined. I'm sure their coach, Coach John Meyer, is very proud of the way they have performed tonight. Tim Towsey has checked into the ball game for Darien. Right, you are. That's the brother of Mike, number 11, the high jumper. And he can really get up there. And there is his brother scoring on a rebound. So again, Mike Towsey doing a lot of good work off the boards here in the second half. Shot by Greco is off the glass. The bouncy rebound picked up by Savarine. He brought it down, for looking for the fast break, nothing doing. Gets it back to the point to Atkins, and Darian will set up from there. Into the corner. Out of time. Loose ball is loose. Moment. Savarine on the wing. Back out to the point to Atkins. <laughs> Darien once again uh, moving the ball around looking for that good shot and the East Haven zone forcing them way out here they're starting to penetrate now Towsie with a jumper no good that was, that was Tim Towsie with that jumper no good that zone forcing the poor shot selection on Darien's part East Haven down a few points now but staying with that yeah, man. He's Taven, working the ball now. Yeah, yeah. Out to the point. Greco oh, looking for the open on. shot. Oh, and the corn oh, gable. Oh, Into the corner. Oh, Barker, oh, no good. Oh, oh. Yellow Jackets uh, struggling to connect from the outside. Greco has the ball. He looks for the shot. No good. But off the glass. Darian will control. Savarine bringing it up. Towsie on the baseline. Gets it out. Didn't have anything going. The ball goes into the backcourt. That will be a violation against Darian. Should be East Haven ball, and it is. Again, that good yellow jacket defense forcing the turnover. Yeah, that's what's keeping in the game, Rich. Obviously, their shot. Oh, and there's a bucket by Greco. Their shot selection has not been that good, nor has their shot percentage, but the defense is keeping them in this one. Darian working the ball patiently now around the outside of the perimeter of that zone. Savory now drives the baseline in and out. Rick, there's a lot of time still left. If Coach Frank Vasafi can get his boys to start from the outside, this could be a different ball game. You're so right, Rich. And there's another one. Oh, off the rim. Rebound. Uh, controlled by Atkins. Savarine tries a three-quarter shot. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter with the score. Darian 38, East Haven 30. Darian has widened its four-point half-point halftime lead to eight. Here we go for all the marbles, Rick. The fourth quarter, 38-30 ball game, a close one. The last eight minutes, Rich, you're so right. <laughs> and then we'll see if the champions, the former champions, can uh, reach back and some reserve that they might have and pull this one out, or whether the uh, champions to be, the Darian Blue Wavers, will be able to hang on. <laughs> Come on, Good block it. by uh, Darien, and they're right back on the attack. <laughs> Savarine with the ball in the front court. Over to Atkins, Savarine on the point. Savarine looking to the big man, and they get it into Towsie, comes back out. 
Severine holds it up, gives it to Atkins. He holds it up. I think you'll find Darien a little bit more deliberate here in the fourth quarter, Rick. That's right, Rich. They're nursing an eight-point lead. They have no hurry. We don't have a uh, shot clock to contend with. They've got the ball in, and yes. Banked off the glass by Big Mike Towsey. And boy, has he had a game of his life tonight. Okay, East Haven badly in need of a bucket here. They're down by 10. Towsey has 16 points so far tonight, according to my unofficial statistics. Okay, Rich. There's a best. There's a shot off the glass by Greco and Darian controlled. Now, there's a fellow, Gary Atkins, who's played a very, very strong floor game. And the stats don't show it, Rich, but he's been very, very effective tonight. Very stable out there, a solid ball player. Didn't show uh, that same poise just then with the turnover resulting over to the Yellow Jackets. The Yellow Jackets now looking for an open. And the two-handed tip by Greco off the glass and no good. Cousy gets it off to Atkins, who gets it off to Savarine. And every time the Yellow Jackets have a chance to pull within reach, uh, they can't connect from the outside. Darian takes a timeout, comes back with the ball. Atkins has it. In the backcourt, gets it off to Fraser. East Haven pressing them all over the court now, looking for an opening, looking to press the defense, make the mistakes. So far, Darian is keeping their composure. Drive by Savarine, up, no good. Tap in, looks good by Towsey. The dominance of Darian off the backboards, again, a telling factor. You're so right, Rich, that second and third shot. East Haven comes right back and gets it, though. They still trail by a bunch, though. Time starting to run down on the uh, Yellow Jacket. Oh, my. And Gary Atkins, the fellow we were just talking about moments ago, doesn't shoot much, but he had the open shot from the corner just then, Rich, and he hit it. Came right back. Didn't think about that turnover. Come on, let's play defense. Defense. One handed push from the corner. No good by East Haven, but they control the rebound. They're in trouble now, and they know it. They've got it. They can't work that pattern off us. They've got to look for the good shot and get the ball up. Right, so right. You saw it right there. They forced the shot from the outside, and the Yellow Jackets are slowly running out of time. Time is now becoming an ally of the Darien Blue Wave. Oh, my. Well, we just got... Well, now here come the Yellow Jacket cheerleaders with their precision routine. And we only have two minutes and 38 seconds left in the game, Rick. And, of course, uh, Darianne holding on to uh, a seven-point lead. And uh, unless something drastically changes, uh, they're moving toward that title. Anything can happen, though, of course, Rich. And uh, I think it would be premature to uh, crown the new champions just now. That's so true. However, they look, they're looking very poised as they work the ball around the tight man-to-man -man now being played by the Yellow Jackets. They've got to come out of that zone and force the action. That's what they're doing. That's exactly right, Rich. That's the Darien ball. Oh, just as I was about to say, the Darien ball handling was too sharp for their man-to-man -man defense to throw it away. Here comes East Haven. That pressing man-to-man -man defense turning over. a chance over. to cut the lead down still further. Yes, underneath and a bucket. It's a big time down court for the Darien Blue Wave. Let's see what Bobby Savarine and his has been, Blue Wave mates will do. The lead has been cut to six. Uh, Savarine with the ball. No. Here comes East Haven. Greco with the ball. He's looking for a shot. No, he gets it over the wing. Comes back outside with it. He's been their main man today, but their second half, they've virtually shut him off. But no, from the corner. That's the closest the Yellow Jackets have come uh, since the beginning of the second half. Towsey went the length of the court and just rolled one off the front of the rim, and now here come the Yellow Jackets again, and this is still a game, believe me. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You Yellow Jackets in the backcourt looking for an opening. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Back to Greco looking for an opening, looking for someone. Someone who can give him the hot hand as a one handed on, push. Let's go, Darian. Let's up, go. Let's go. No let's good. Go. Come on, Rebound. Let's go. Battle for Fraser. Up. Up. So no. That would have been a big basket for East Haven if they could have connected. They still maintain the ball, though. Yeah, Fraser thought he had the rebound, but it was knocked out of his hands and it was ruled. Oh! Let's go. 
Oh. And they move still closer with that one-handed push. But with that Savarine on the other end with a drive all the way. And that may just give Darian the cushion they need to ride home to the championship, Rich. Big bucket by Bobby Savarine. Here they come back the other way. The Yellow Jackets are frantic now. There's a one-handed push up off the glass. No good. And Towsie with yet another rebound. And it looks to me that the momentum has, momentum rather has shifted uniforms. And a steal by Darian. There they go. They still have possession. He's saving his desperate now. The seconds are ticking away. The seconds are ticking away. They need a miracle now. They're going to have to fight tight, tight. Oh, and they do come up with a steal. There's a shot. Goes up. No good. Rebound to Darianne. Towsy had it. He lost it momentarily and then back to the Yellow Jackets. But turned over again to Darianne. They bring it up into the forecourt. Good play by Towsy in the corner to force that turnover. Yes, it was. Savarine with the ball. You're not going to get the ball away from him at this stage. He's putting on a dribbling exhibition in the corner. Side arms the ball over to Freezer. This is what Darianne and particularly corner. Bob Savarine does so well, Rick. He really can uh, move that ball around. He's a great ball handler. That's right. There are some very talented ball players on the court. Atkins, Savarine, Lupinacci, Freezer. All good ball handlers. Trying to, trying to put this in the icebox uh, uh, somewhere between the uh, baked beans and the butter, as they say. Oh, my, Rich. You're so right. Here comes Darianne yet again. And I think this one may be just about over. Savarine getting it back to Atkins. Atkins into the corner to Lupinacci. Lupinacci on the drive to Savarine. Off the glass, no good. There's Fraser up and in. And that may do it. That just may do it. Adding icing on the cake. The fans now, as you note, Rich, are all on their feet. A lot of Bobby Sox showing now. The ball goes up. Tap, no good. And yes. And that's, that's it, Rick. That's it, Rich. That's the ball game. Darian has prevailed by the score, vital score of 49 to 38. They are the new Class B CIAC basketball champions, and the fans are swarming the court. I, Rich, I just must say I'm so choked up I got to first pass the microphone over to you. Take it away. Rick, and there's pandemonium on the court as all the uh, Darian Blue Wave crowd has rushed the court. And it looks like we've broken away with the video. Okay. So let's continue on. Oh, you don't want to do a wrap-up? Okay, so uh, the video, as I mentioned, we had a few uh, technical difficulties, and pardon us, but uh, uh, it's been an exciting evening for the Darien Blue Wave. And uh, we're going to have a, a recap of the ball game. And let's uh, go to the score sheet and see uh, how it breaks down. As the Rick mentioned, the final score was uh, Darien 49 and the East Haven uh, Yellow Jackets 38. Let's go and check those individual statistics. First, for East Haven, uh, Bill Barker had four points. That was two field goals, nothing from the foul line. Bill Pite did not score. Uh, John Porto, uh, off the bench, did a very good job. Uh, he had, that's Bill Porto, pardon me, and he had uh, eight points. That was on three buckets and two foul shots. Corn uh, Giebel, the fine center, er Earl Corn Giebel, had a, only a basket and a foul shot for three points. He had that all in the first half, and inlaid the story for the old Jackets in the second half. They did, they did not get any production from uh, all, uh, all scoring those three points in the first half. Uh, moving right along, John Greco with 18 points, or 17 points rather, eight field goals, and a foul shot for his 17 points. And his uh, backcourt mate, Bobby Vitrone, had three buckets for six points all those in the first half. That gave you the 38 points that East Haven finished up with. For the victorious uh, Darien Blue Wave, Randy Frazier had five points uh, on two baskets and a foul shot. Art Lupinacci uh, did not score, however, played a very solid game uh, from uh, his guard spot. Tim Towsey had a bucket for two. The leading scorer for the Blue Wave was Mike Towsey, who had 22 points, and that came on 10 baskets and two foul shots. 
Uh, Tim August did not score. Bobby Savarine uh, certainly had himself an outstanding evening, had eight baskets, no free throws for 16 points, played an outstanding uh, game uh, all around, uh, had uh, several key assists tonight, and uh, played stellar defense as he shut down uh, Bobby Vitrone in the second half. Jerry Atkins uh, had two baskets for four points. And uh, Derry had a total of 23 field goals, three foul shots for their 49 points. And I think, uh, Rick, looking back on the game, uh, Derry and Lick throughout. Uh, they took a 13-10 first quarter lead. They increased that by one at halftime, 27-23. Uh, after three periods of play, they were up 38-30, to and the final score, of course, 49-38. If you look at that line score, it seemed that Darien was able to maintain uh, their slim lead after the first quarter and add to it throughout the ball game. So there you have it, Darien victorious, 49-38, uh, to a great victory for Coach John Marr, and a tough defeat for uh, Frank Crisafi. However, uh, both squads uh, gave an outstanding account of themselves, and to play uh, before this big crowd uh, certainly uh, was an outstanding matchup this evening. Uh, Darien, as we mentioned, uh, ranked first, 17-4 and four going into the season, and East Haven, 14-1, and one, ranked third. So a great evening for the Darien Blue Wave, and I'm sure they're going to be celebrating uh, later tonight at the Heights Restaurant. You're so right, I'm sure the Heights Restaurant is sure to all be lit up like Christmas trees tonight. Uh, and I know uh, many of the seniors uh, will probably be traveling uh, westbound even later on in the evening to continue the celebration, but uh, it's for them to decide. Well, we'd like to thank you tonight. sponsor of the Heights Restaurant. Uh, who has been a loyal supporter and booster of Blue Wave uh, athletics um, throughout the year, and in particular um, the Blue Wave basketball team who uh, ended on such an outstanding note. So um, that's all I have from over here, Rick. It's been great working with you once again. Well, likewise, uh, amigo, and uh, we'll look forward to next year when we'll be bringing you another uh, exciting season of CIAC tournament basketball. Now, signing off from Payne Whitney Gymnasium, uh, this has been Rich Levis and Rick Semftleben. The final game of the Class B tournament season with Darian Victorious, 49-38 over the wild of the Yellow Jackets, excuse me, of East Haven.